So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here and I received a question from one of my viewers who's got a problem with the microscope slide holder. I'm going to share the question with you first and then I'm going to show you a video where the problem um, is explained and then of course uh, a solution. As a matter of fact, there are two possible ways how you can solve this problem. Hello, Microbe Hunter. I have a big issue about my microscope. It's a new one, my new microscope. I noticed that when I try to put into the microscope a slide, the slide holder goes above the slide like it's too elevated. I attached a video where I explain my issue. Looking forward for your help. Well, um, yes, uh, let's have a look at the video first. Um, this is the video that I got. You can see that uh, the slide holder is, um, I would say, maybe two or three millimeters uh, too high. And therefore, I mean, the slide uh, cannot be held in place. And uh, unfortunately, this is a fairly common problem. But the good news is, is that it uh, can be fixed quite easily. And I received uh, afterwards also an email that indeed the problem could be resolved. So there's good news here. So I'm, I would like uh, to now show you how you can fix the problem. Now, unfortunately, this is a fairly common problem and uh, even one of my microscopes uh, displays this problem. See, over here, uh, the slide is able to slip beneath uh, the slide holder. Yeah, it's actually a, uh, something that can be fixed fairly easily, luckily, and there are two ways uh, that you can try to resolve this problem. And the first thing that, of course, you have to do is, is you have to really uh, remove the back part um, first. Usually there are some thumb screws that you can remove, or you have to use a screwdriver or a wrench. This depends from microscope to microscope. And then you place it on your flat table and you check. Is it flat or not? And if it's not flat, then you have to carefully bend it into place. Be careful, um, the, it's aluminum, therefore it's very flexible Yeah, and it's easily <laughs> overdone. Yeah, it's even worse now. <laughs> so you carefully have to bend it back into place. But if you end up breaking it, then you might actually have a problem getting a replacement because many companies do not sell spare parts. So be a little bit careful here. Um, and um, when it is reasonably flat, then you can try it again. And if it works, then it's fine. But in many cases, or in some cases, this is not the problem. The back part where the slide holder um, is mounted to the stage sometimes is too low. And I'm using a piece of paper now to raise it and to increase its height. And by raising the back part, the front part goes down lower. Okay, and this is uh, basically the second method that I'd like to recommend. Um, I'm simply folding some cardboard. You can fold some cardboard or some, yeah, some thick paper, but you can also use other things here. And uh, yeah, I'm using a screwdriver to make a hole for the th for the screws. Um, and then you try it, and um, if the back part uh, is um, sufficiently raised, and if the front part is lower and everything works, then you know that you've solved the problem. And um, so I'm I'm trying this right now. You see the paper is here on the lower side raising the back part and uh, then the front part hopefully should be lower um, of course using paper might not be um, according to everyone's taste um, so if it works with the paper then you might actually think of replacing maybe the paper with some metal washers um, or you can also use some uh, yeah, old credit cards that you cut into shape um, or some plastic strips uh, yeah so there are different ways how you can try this but i would say try it first with cardboard and if it works with cardboard then you can also try plastic strips like over here you see here, I'm just um, inserting the plastic strip behind the screw um, and this pushes down the front part um, yet further. Well, um, even though I'm kind of happy that uh, the problem was resolved, uh, I still have to tell you, hmm, I have mixed feelings because it should not be up to us, the end user, um, to do basic microscope maintenance like this. There should be a final uh, quality control after the assembly of the microscope. And evidently this was not done properly. And the fix uh, is quite easy, um, but uh, you have to do a quality control first. And I think it should not be up uh, to us, uh, the consumers, to do these things. Yeah, but then again, hmm, Maybe the good news is, is yeah, I have lots of topics to talk about this way. If the companies don't solve the problem, then I'll try to solve it for them. Well, and with that, <laughs> happy microbe hunting as always, and uh, see you around next time. Bye-bye.